Hello folks, in this series I'm going to explain how I coded this turn-based battle game. Uh, it's actually not very complicated, so I'm just going to get straight into the code. First of all, you need to import the modules, and to begin with, all you need is the Pygame module. So I say import Pygame, and then I say pygame.init. So following that, you want to create that game window that you just saw. So I'll add a little comment here to say game window, and then define a couple of variables. The first one is going to be my screen width, which I will set to 800 pixels, and then the second one is going to be screen height, which I will set to 400 pixels. Now you can change these to anything you like, but you need to make sure that you adjust the images to suit that. After that, I create the game window itself. So I set it to an initial variable, which in my case I'm going to call screen. And then you say pygame.display.set underscore mode. And in here, you need to give those two variables. The first one was screen width, and then the second one is screen height. And that's going to create that game window. Now it's going to be just called pygame window, so I want to give it an actual name. I will say pygame.display.set caption. And in here, I'm going to call this one battle. So if I run this code now, it just flashes up, you'll see that the, the window flashes up for a second and then just closes down again. And the reason is, it's essentially just running through the code line by line, it gets to the end and that's the game over. So to keep it running constantly, I need some kind of loop. And for that I will use a while loop. And a while loop needs some kind of condition, it needs to look for a condition that's either true or false, and that determines whether the while loop keeps running. To begin with, I want this to be true, and I want this while loop to constantly run for me. So I'll set a variable and I'll set it to true. And then in here, I can just say while run, which essentially is just saying while run is equal to true, execute the code underneath. So that's going to put me into a game loop. However, if I run this again now, I will get stuck within that game loop and I'll have no way of exiting because I don't have any code within here. So the game is just going to hang up. So what I need is to be able to actually look for some kind of events and some kind of interaction. I will use Pygame's event handler for that. So the event handler just looks for mouse clicks, button presses, mouse movement, anything like that. To do that, I just iterate through all of the events that are happening. I use a for loop for that. So we say for event in pygame.event.get. And then I look for any particular one. In this case, I need to look for clicking the exit button or clicking the right X in the top right corner. And that one is event.type. So we say if event.type equals pygame.quit. Note the quit is in all caps. If that's happened, then I need to exit this loop. Now you remember that this while loop is running based on this run condition being true. That means that to exit, I just need to set that run condition to false. And that's going to kick me out of this loop. And lastly, all I need to do is exit pygame. So I say here pygame.quit. Remember, I initialized it at the beginning. So when the while loop finishes, I just want to make sure I quit. If I run this again, I get my game window. I've got this title up here, battle, which I named it with the set caption function. Uh, it's a blank screen, of course, but now I can interact with it by clicking that X and I can close the game. So that's the bare bones of it pretty much set up. I've got the game window going. Uh, now we need to actually start filling things into this game window because at the moment it's just a blank screen. The first thing I want to put on there is my image, this background image. So I'm going to come up here and create a section for loading images. I'll say comment load images and the first one is going to be my background image. Now note that I do this outside of the game loop. If you're loading any assets, music, sounds, and images, things like that, you need to make sure you do it outside of your game loop, otherwise it's going to be happening at each iteration, and that's not something that you want to be doing. So we load all the assets up front. Uh, to do this, I just create a new variable, which is going to be my background image, and to load it in, I say pygame.image.load, and then I need to give it the directory of the file name. Now, this bit's kind of important. You need to make sure that you're loading it from the right place. So this is where I've got my code, battle.py, and then you're going to have your assets within some kind of subfolder. So in my case, it's battle.py is where I've got my code. Next to it, I've got this image folder, and within that, I've got more folders for the background and the fighters and all, all sorts after that. So the background picture itself is within this subfolder. So I need to make sure that I put all of these into the code to make sure that I get to the right picture. So you might have these titled differently, and if you do, make sure that you capture that within here correctly, otherwise your images won't load. So in my case, it was image forward slash background with a capital B, and then the image itself is just called background.png. With these loaded, at the very end, I just say convert underscore alpha. So this converts the image and maintains the alpha channel. Now I've loaded this picture. If I run the code, nothing actually happens because I haven't told Pygame to show that image onto the screen. It's just loaded it into memory. To load the image, or sorry, to show the image, I'm going to use a function. So I'll just come down here, add a comment to say function for drawing background, and I'll define my own function for this. So I say def draw underscore bg, 
And to put this image onto the screen, I will use the blit function from Pygame. So first of all, I need to tell it what window to put it onto. Now remember, I named my game window screen. So that means that I can say screen.blit, which is the function for putting images onto the screen. And I need to give it the name of the image, which is in my case, background underscore image. And then I need to give it the coordinates. So I just want this to be in the top left corner of the screen, and that is 0, 0. I can run this again, but nothing's going to change. The reason for that is I haven't actually called this function within the game loop. So you can define the functions up here outside of it, but until you call them, nothing's going to happen. So I'll come down here, add a little comment to say draw background, and I'll call that draw underscore bg function. Now I'll run it again, but still nothing happens. Now within your game loop, you're going to have a whole bunch of these different functions as the game grows. So we'll have functions that we're going to update the players and the animations and things like that. So what Pygame is essentially doing within this loop is it's taking all of those things, they're all going to be happening, and then at the very end, you need to tell it to update all of those onto the game window. So just right at the bottom of the while loop, we finish this off by saying pygame.display.update. So make sure the indentation is correct here. It needs to be indented within your while loop. So I run this again, and finally the background image is coming up. So that's kind of starting to come together, but in the game that I had previously that I showed, I had this little panel underneath the background image, uh, but right now there's no room for it. So I need to extend the height of this window to allow for it. So I come back up here and I could just extend or change this variable here, but instead I want to define how tall that uh, panel is going to be. So I'll create a new variable called bottom underscore panel, and I will call it, I'll set it to 150 pixels. And here I will just add that to my screen height. Now that means I can use this variable within the rest of my code quite easily and I, I know what it's set to. So if I run this again, you'll see that it increases the height of that game window. Now my background image is only 400 pixels tall anyway. So it comes to the bottom here and underneath that there's nothing to draw. So that's just the empty Pygame window. So that's where I'm going to put that panel image. I'll load it in the exact same way as I did before. So I can just add this comment here to say panel image and I can copy this line of code down just to save me retyping it. I need to make sure I change this to panel image instead. So that's my new variable for the panel. The code is here is exactly the same, but now my image is in a different directory. So I change this to icons, which is where I've saved it. And I change the name of it to panel.png. The rest stays the same. Now, of course, you'll remember nothing happens just by loading it. I need to actually tell Pygame to show it onto the screen. So I'll create a new function for this. This is going to be a function for drawing panel. And I'll say define draw underscore panel. But the code here is exactly the same. So I can just copy this down again. And we say screen, which is my game window that I defined up here, dot blit. This time I change it to panel image because that's the picture that I want to show. And of course, I don't want it to be put in the top left corner anymore. I want it to be on the left-hand side. So the X coordinate stays as zero, but the Y coordinate is going to be my screen height minus the bottom panel. So this is where that variable is already coming in useful. So again, until this function is called in a game loop, nothing's going to be happening. If I run this code, I still have this blank space down here. So I just need to add another little section here. I'll comment it by saying draw panel, and I will call that function. Now, if I run the code, you see I've got the background and I've got the panel coming up. So the stage for the battle game is, is uh, all set up. I've got the background and the panel. The only thing I want to add here is a frame rate control. Now you can actually see because this is all static at the moment, but the game is essentially executing the while loop as quickly as it possibly can. So it's just running as fast as the computer will run it. I don't really want that because then you could end up with animations running at different speeds depending on the computer. And I want it to be set to a particular value. So to do that, I need to define my frame rate. So I come all the way to the top of the game. So I've got my import uh, pygame.init underneath. And then just down here, I will set my frame rate. So first of all, I need to create a variable, which is going to be clock, and I will set that to pygame.time.clock. Now note that the clock here has a capital C. Uh, after that, I set a new variable, and this is just called FPS for my frames per second, and I'll set that to 60 frames per second. I come down into my game loop, and right at the beginning, I will say clock, which is that variable that I just defined, dot tick, and in brackets, I have to give it an argument, and the argument is the frame rate that I'm aiming for. So the frame rate was that FPS variable. So you won't notice a difference when I run it because there's no uh, animations or anything going on, but essentially it's now fixed the processing rate of this to 60 frames per second. So that's how fast this while loop is now running. So that's everything for this video. In the next one, I'm going to set up the fighter class and I'm going to create the, the, the uh, enemies and everything like that. 
Uh, but for now, if you found this video useful, then please do leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with these, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.